Shall can I just start by saying it's so good to see you any part of the world, India, here <laughs> in Melbourne, anywhere. Always good to see you. Thank you very much. Uh, nice to see you too. Thank you. Shall you're here, of course, to attend the Indian Film Festival mm. of Melbourne. This is their tenth year. You know the local papers. I don't know if you're aware of this. The local papers have said that um, there are fans of yours that have made plans and are, are booking themselves to be here this weekend from all over the region, not mm. just from various parts of Australia, but all over the region. I guess you're you're sort of used to that. No, it's, it's sweet here yeah, because I, I came here many years ago uh, when I came and shot Chuck the India, mm. and I've always avoided the film festival right. because I think I'm the last guy to be in festivals. I don't make cinema like this. I don't know what we are supposed to do, <laughs> and uh, giving my two bits about cinema, I find it awkward. Uh, but ten years ago, so I said no, I have to come, and yeah. yes, uh, I'd like to see all the people here, yeah, and um, I hope people from all over come so I can meet them at the screenings or, or wherever the chance is. Do you have memories of making Chakta? You shot, you shot in um, Melbourne actually? Yeah, yeah, about 50 days. Uh, I have memories of the hotel we are staying in, yeah. Langham, and I remember it very clearly. And uh, very long, I, I, I actually <coughs> used to have so much time on my hand. Uh -huh. I'd, uh, uh, I'd started writing my book here, and, uh, and with the girls, because you know, they were, how do I say it? I won't say non-actors, but mm. they were absolutely uh, mint fresh. Yeah. So it was really exciting being with them. It's really exciting being with them. All these young boys and girls, and most of the people were first, second time of film people. Right. And um, and I'm very quiet and reticent in time. So I just used to roam the streets uh, uh, in the evening. Not much to do. Just get back into the room and sit down on my new laptop and write. So I have some very fond memories. Plus the fact that I think uh, Melbourne is uh, one sporting community. Yeah. It has a whole commune where. People like to play sports, encourages right. that. So that was very nice. MCG is right here, right? It's uh, right. Biggest stadium in the world, yeah. And you'll shot right. there apparently for MCG. We didn't shoot. Ah, MCG sorry. we didn't shoot, but MCG. Uh, I, I've, I've not. I've not seen a match there. But uh -huh. yeah, it's, it's the biggest cricket stadium I think in the world. Yeah. And uh, Eden Garden used to be the second, uh, or, or they used to compete for this thing. And it's right here. It's amazing. And it's right here. Yeah. Rod Laver Stadium is here, and the, the um, right. um, Australian Open Stadium. You're um, you're you're receiving the, uh, an honorary degree from the, from La Trobe University uh, tomorrow. Is that is that a, is that important for you? Is that a big deal? Um, you know, I, I you know, whenever you get doctorates, uh, my assumption is it is being given for having worked hard in the field uh, that you are a professional in. Yes, and then hopefully a part of it can be imparted to others. Mm. Um, so it's a great feeling. Yeah. I, I don't know how to react to it. I, I, this, will, this will be my fifth doctorate, I think. Right. So at this You're point really in time, them. Yeah. I'm collecting them. It's like I'm more of a doctor than an actor. <laughs> uh, but Only because you take it like a year <laughs> off. <laughs> but I just feel uh, what, what they very uh, graciously, mm. La Trobe has uh, done is they're also sponsoring a girl every year. That's right. Uh, to come and get educated here. And I think that opportunity to me right. is really, really heartening. Sure. Um, that you, you know, can be instrumental in that, yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, more than in, yeah, uh, just to get an opportunity to a student, a right. girl student, to come here. And Australia has some amazing universities and True. education system and La Trobe itself. So if a girl can come here every year and get an educational facility, mm. which perhaps will enhance her life. I yeah. think for me, that, that was the happiest part of uh, the doctorate. And of course, uh, I'll get a certificate, which will make everyone think I'm more intellectual than I actually am. Sharuk, you've um, you've said you actually said uh, that that you wanted to take some time off to to spend time with the family, to travel. That's what the last few months have been. Um, you haven't made another movie since the last release. How has this time been, sort of, you know, enriching? It's also I the first time, right? That you, yeah, that you thirty years. Yeah, uh, I don't know. I didn't even have a film. I was doing one, and then uh, that kind of fell through. And um, I just thought, normally when I'm doing a film, I have worked out the next film. Mm. And somehow, I just didn't work out one, and uh, suddenly I just don't have any uh, filmmakers offering me films to do. That's not true, because uh, so you know I'm that <laughs> we know. <laughs> I'm just, I'm, uh, it's not enriching or anything, it's just nice. Uh, there's, it's not even a big deal. I think uh, initially, uh, when I go on Twitter and all, then everybody's writing, oh, it's a birthday pe announce hoga. Correct. I, Everyone's speculating now, yeah. Yeah, and, and, and in the speculation, I think I've done more films than I've ever done in my life, and I was actually right. doing them. They've attached every, every filmmaker's film, name, right? Every yeah. film I'm doing. Uh, but Shankar's I'm, uh, underwater film, today, uh, Rajkumar uh, Hirani's film, yeah, none there's of so these? Many. I've, not, I've not signed any film as okay. yet. Uh, I've, uh, I've, I've been hearing a lot of stories, actually, not just for me just for production and sure. all. So I've been hearing lots of stories, lots of stories, yeah. I don't know myself here. I wanted to do an action film, mm. then I want to do a fun film, 
So I don't know. I've not given it thought. I'm I'm okay actually. I'm, I'm but did this time off sort of? I mean, I don't know. Does it give perspective? Does it help you decide what you want to do next? I mean, what does it do? Um, I don't think so. I think uh, I'm going to make the same mistakes I've made the last few years. And I think it's not at all going to teach me anything different. It won't give me any perspective. I mean, I'll I'll be honest. Uh, you know, if I got perspective, if I was able to differentiate between good and bad, if I could somewhere. Uh, realize what I actually should be doing to get it right. I think it'll get so boring. Mm -hmm. It'll be like a trope. It'll be nonsense. So you enjoy the sort of discovery. I I'm not even discovering it. I just do the film that comes into my heart. I've True. always been like this. Yeah, yeah. People don't believe it because you know you reach a certain status and people think, oh, there must be a lot of thought going into this, and you must be planning this. I, I've never planned it. I'm just uh, happy that I have time to come to Melbourne. Yeah. Uh, Go down and you know spend some time with my daughter in New York. Correct. Go to Trinidad and Tobago, watch some cricket match. True. Uh, and it's not like I'm holidaying. I'm really working hard. Right. But I'm working on a lot of stories Other and things, films yeah. to make for production. Right. Uh, and it's nice, yeah, uh, not to have this whole stress of writing a film for me. Not that I wrote it, mm. uh, and not that I write it very well. <laughs> but you know, but actors I, can sometimes get sort of restless. I don't want to use the word insecure, but you know, when I mean, not at, not at your stage, you 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 won't. But um, just not knowing what next. I don't think it's about an actor thing. It's about humans actually, you know? Just not knowing what we're going to do next. Do, do, you, do you feel like you're at that Raji, place? I have, where I, have I have an amazing uh, you know personality which very few people know. Okay. I'm extremely active, or I can be completely dominant. Oh, okay. I don't have a window shopping spree in me. Okay. I, do, I don't do the mid section. Right. Uh, so I'm an extremist. I'm genuinely an extremist. Like, like you say this. Uh, you know, a lot of people think this about me because I work so hard. Yeah. Sir, ab kam ki bina nahi baitho. Correct. Uh, people don't know. I can just be in my shorts, with my hair standing, uh, just lying down in one place. I don't want to do anything. Okay. I'm. Uh, I think there are very few people in this world who are so mm. restlessly peaceful as I am. Okay. I'm the most restlessly peaceful man in the world. Right. I have huge peace, huge patience, and huge restlessness. It, 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 it's the uh, I'm not hyper. Yeah. Do it, do it. Oh my God! I have never done that. Like actually, you know, when people say, "Oh, you have so much energy," mm. I really don't. I have uh, extremely relaxed energy. Okay. I, I, uh, so if I come into my energy, mm. will never disturb a room. Right. My energy will invoke happiness in a room. Right. So when people say it, I don't correct them. Are you, are you coming? There's so much. No, it's not that. My energy is not going to be uncomfortable. Oh shit, man, he's moving so much. He's doing. No, my energy just makes you happy. Right. It's never been restless. And I've, I'm extremely. Uh, uh, and suddenly, like, it, it could be. I land back from Melbourne and I could be going on a set and going mad and working. Sure. So, so I, I let it play out like it should. Okay, you know you've you've not maybe um, gone on the set uh, acting for 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 a few months, but but you've been very active and very busy as a producer because you had um, the company had Badla of course, which was mm, a success. Yeah, yeah. Um, you'll have now the Bard of Blood, which is uh, a Netflix series which will go on soon, and you've just announced that you're uh, remaking um, Money Heist uh, into into a film. Huh. Plenty things going on on the production front. Uh, I, I don't think Money Heist. I think is a rumor. Okay. okay. Uh, Money Heist. We are not doing any okay. film. Uh, we have Bar of Blood. We've got Patrick's uh, Betal, right. uh, that horror thing. Right. It's very scary. I went on the sets. Oh, nice. Yes. Um, and uh, we have Class of '83 with Bobby, right. which Atul is directing. Yeah. And then I was working on one other series for uh, Netflix. I think mm. we're sitting and chatting on that. So I've actually, you know, I really like the system of Netflix and uh, this writers' room thing. Yeah. So I've created a lot of writers' room, and I just go and hang with them. Right. And I was thinking, even for my film, I'll do that. But for Hindi films, I don't think you get enough writers to <laughs> get into a writer's room. <laughs> <laughs> Normally, just the director writes it. Uh, but does the format excite you, Sharuk, as an actor? Do you think that um, if, if if something came along, you'd be open to kind of doing a Netflix show? Actually, yeah, no, 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 nothing's been offered to me. Mm. But you know, I'm a television actor. Yeah. I mean, to He's me, the platforms never been. Never matter, right? I would love to do it if 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 there is something that excites me. Mm. Um, uh, I would do it, even a film for Netflix. But right. nobody's offered yet. Um, I, I don't think anyone thinks of you as a, you know, a small. I think that we, you, you can't kind of yeah, capture I, I, him in a small screen anymore. I, like I just saw an uh, Irishman here. Right, the, the teaser, awesome yeah. man. It's a two hundred million dollar film. True. Martin Scorsese making it. Correct. De Niro and Al Pacino together. Right. And it's going to come on Netflix. So how does that make it? Small? I think it's really cool, man. Sure. Like if you can see it, and like, um, it, it's very exciting. It's very exciting. So. I don't think that really makes a difference right. now. Yeah. I mean, what would be happen in India? They can release the film on Friday and Monday they'll put it on Netflix. Right. Three days, right. maybe five days. Correct. There's ways like to work that, around yeah. that. There's yeah. ways to work around that. I think I don't think uh, the maturity of uh, 
uh, a film mm. should be judged just by the fact that it's going to come on Netflix or not. Right. I think you can you can put anything anywhere. Right. right. You know, Shalom, because you're here or because you're out of out of your country, I want to ask you a question. Um, you know, because you're a star who has been instrumental and whose films have been instrumental in opening markets and creating new markets, um, what do you think it is about our cinema that is unique to our cinema that speaks a universal language and that makes our films sort of, you know, uh, appealing even to, um, you know, now to, to audiences that are not just Indian audiences? So, so I'll answer it in two parts. Okay. First part, I'll tell you what actually is the honest truth. Right, uh, yeah, which yeah. Is <laughs> Every fifth person in the world is Indian. That's true. So you are going to <laughs> Correct find Hindi just by films virtue of that. by virtue of that. that <laughs> you know, four people go and one guy is seeing a Hindi film. And I think then they cross-pollinate. Right. And then there is a lot of interaction. And then, you know, you make friends. So every one Indian, and Indians are all friendly people. True. And we are relationship people. So every one Indian person has ten friends. Right. So we take over ten times. So that's, that's one part. Um, the second part of it is... I think we have a very unique cinema. That's mm. why it's l uh, kind of outlasted Hollywood. Yeah. Uh, not taking. I mean, there's a danger now, uh, but I think um, you know uh, our cinema has kind of stood the test of time, uniquely local. Right. Uh, all True. the other films, you know, uh, like like European cinema. Mm. Uh, I should not say it, but a lot of countries which were great cinema filmmakers have suddenly gone down because Hollywood has taken Take over. over right. And they have just, you know, niche yeah. uh, films left. We are not. We are making popular films in India. Right. Because ours is extremely unique. So True. even if Marvel Comics does well here, right. uh, you never see Iron Man singing Lungi Dance, Lungi Dance, Lungi Dance. Right. It's not going to happen. Right. So chances are if I play Iron Man, we can have a Lungi Dance in a Hindi film. Right. So I think the uniqueness, apart from the songs, mm. uh, makes it very relevant to Indian. Right. And again, if you're 1.3 billion people, True. that relevance uh, holds a lot more water right. than if you were just only 25 million people. Uh, so I think our cinema is unique. It spreads out more because we are all over the place. Uh, plus, even if I wasn't an Indian, I think just the uniqueness is very attractive. Mm. And I think emotionally, uh, we are um, uh, over-soaked with emotion. And that's something that is losing... Uh, a lot of uh, th that is that is losing out in a lot of films now. Right. You know, films are more subtle, yeah. uh, creatively okay. Allow the audience to right. think and feel for themselves. Correct. Indian films are they take you by the scruff of the neck as a cry with us, right. laugh with us, uh, fall with us, joke with us. So I think that uniqueness, mm. uh, you know, very comedal art, Punch and Judy, right. um, theatrical. Right. I think it has its own uniqueness. Sure. I think that's what is very attractive and the emotional content of it. Mm. Everybody at a certain point in time wants to have a good cry. Yeah. And our films, that's true, do, actually, yeah. our films do offer that a lot. True. Finally, Shark, the, the kids start to take baby steps um, towards towards a career in film. I mean, now that you've been spending, so you've had more time to spend with them. I mean, is, is, has there been sort of wisdom being passed on? Not at how all. How good yeah. uh, Aryan was, you know, you're doing the, the Lion King voices, which was, yeah, it was such funny. a lovely, yeah. yeah, yeah. Because we'd done uh, incredible. That's right, as kids. And he, he's good as well since. Yeah, yeah. So it was very nice. Uh, also, he wants to be a filmmaker. Uh, so what I uh, told him, uh, you know, we have friends, obviously, yeah. Karan and everyone. I've told him whichever aspect of film that he can go and learn. So the other day I met uh, Ravi Varman. Mm. So I told him go and learn camera. Uh, hang camera with him. Yeah. So he's been doing that. I think one part which was going to get missed out is all this, uh, you know, dubbing. Yeah. It's also very unique to India. We Correct. dub a lot more than, <laughs> than, uh, than other films. Other, yeah. So I wanted him to come and just hang. So we had an eight, seven, eight days of just 8 p.m. to 6 a.m. Nice. Uh, amazing time together. He's also a night bird like you. Yeah, so we used to go at 8 o'clock, just sit there and nice. jam, and he used to play the guitar. And there was this amazing set of people, mm. um, you know, uh, Mona, who was uh, helping us with the dubbing and right. everyone. So we had a great time. I think that was important for him. Um, He's got another year and a half of uh, film yeah, school, mm. uh, which is a big course here, yeah, four-year course. And then Swana is going to Tishna, and she nice. wants to act. She's right now at the French Festival in Edinburgh. Nice. So she's doing theatre, she's got coloured face, she's doing some mime and all. Right. So it's good fun. Um, I think the most important part of them growing up is that I should not impose right. my uh, ideas on them. Because mm. mine are so set. Uh, mine have now kind of nearly, nearly been fully cultivated. Yeah. Um, so, you know, if, if it's cultivated, it's already there, then I'm here to give my yeoman service to Indian film industry with <laughs> my cultivated amazing talent. <laughs> Why just get it duplicated to them? Let them learn something. And discover and their think, own, yeah. And more than discover, you know, Rajiv, I think it's very important, at least I believe that, maybe it's old-fashioned, but I think it's very important for every actor and actress, mm. every filmmaker and storyteller, every uh, uh, person who critiques, 
to start giving back yeah. uh, something to the yeah, film industry, sure. bring something new to it. Right. So, so for example, if, if today you are starting a new show, mm. it should have, you've already done what you have yeah. done. You know your, you know, you know your right. bone, right. you know yeah, how yeah. to gnaw it, it, bury it, take it out again. Correct. But now you need to bring in and give something new as a critical appraisal of cinema mm. uh, person. Then uh, I, I think as actors, as filmmakers, my kids, in case yeah. they wish to come in, they have to bring something new. They can't live off uh, the stuff their father has, has been doing managed to do. Uh, so I, I think it's important they bring in new. And if I impose myself, they won't be able to. Let them just go, right. bring in something radical and weird and strange and wrong maybe. Right. But it should be newer than what I've been able to give. Right. Well, what with you know, with you looking over, I suspect, I, I suspect they 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 know that you know they've got they've got someone wise standing behind. No, in no, case I'm 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 the worst person who <laughs> should look over. <laughs> my I should not have any influence on my children. Uh, I think uh, only uh, the only one I should have. I'm I'm thinking is to train Abram to be mad like me. I think Aaron and Swana um, are very sensible. They're right. very very sensible, and they should not. <laughs> actually, they also don't allow me to. You know, if I, if I was to tell them, they just look at me and say, S, R, K. Actually, I've done it. Um, I'm, I, th I think they should do it on their own. My, my influence should not come on them. Abram, yes. I'll teach him how to be the king. <laughs> but looking forward to whatever you decide to do next. Very excitedly waiting. Yeah, inshallah. Yeah. I'm also actually, what, what month is this? August now. We're right? in August, August, yeah. September, October. So the birthday announcement's not coming or just good? No, no, it could come tomorrow. Tomorrow, wow, uh, okay. But I don't, I don't think, uh, see, even if it comes tomorrow, it's not a film that I've worked on as yet. Right. I may have an idea, but I want to do an action film here. Okay. Uh, so I want to kick some ass. Nice. Do some boxing bit, do some yeah. one-liners. Nice. Rish them with them, kind of Good. thing. But I don't know. I don't, nobody's written. Actually, that's the struggle. Nobody writes an action film for me. Uh, so, you know, let me just invite this. Yeah, just use this as any a... Any person who's got an action film for me. My Twitter handle is it, uh, at IMSRK. And you read everything, yeah? I read everything. So please send in your scripts, two lines, then I will already give it to Rajiv to do a critical appraisal of them. <laughs> if he gives it <laughs> four and a half That's stars. That's a lot of <laughs> Is that how you say it? Four yeah, and a half yeah. stars? So if he gives it four and a half stars, then I'm going to take on to an action film, of course, whatever <laughs> Rajiv, Rajiv says. Rajiv because says who, better who, better than, who better qualify than Rajiv to yeah, give me a <laughs> action film thumbs up. Thank you, Charu. Cannot thank wait you. to watch this action film. Thank you, thank you. Always a thank pleasure. You, God bless thank you, God you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.